What's up guys and gals, ladies and pals, we are back here at the gym, just filming a quick little video for you guys. Talked about the Chris Gethin twists in the last video, and I'm trying to find a good place to put this camera, but I'm going to show you what exactly I'm talking about with those. I don't have my stand here with me, so I'm going to try to get creative here. With those Chris Gethin twists, what you're going to want to do is you're going to get yourself in a nice stable position. And we're doing 150 of these again. I like to break it down into 50s, make myself think that there's a little bit less, kind of helps mentally. But what you want to do is get yourself in a nice upright position, shoulders back, and we're keeping the core tight the entire time. Again, what we're trying to do here is bring in the tightness when we're losing weight. We want to bring the tightness back to our abs so that we can show the abs that we're working hard to show off. So get yourself in a nice upright tight position, core tight the entire time, and it's 150 reps. This is one rep, two, three, and you just continually, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every time I pass the center, I count a rep. Usually you don't have your headphones hanging down. So this is essentially what it's looking like, but as you can tell it's hard for me to talk because I'm keeping that core engaged the whole time. So what we're trying to do is prevent rotation and that works our obliques, our transverse abdominis, our serratus as well. This is bringing everything in the core nice and tight, keeping that skin tight as we lose weight. We don't want the skin, the skin to kind of flab off. We don't want to be really loose skin. We want to keep it nice and tight again. It's the name of the game here, keeping it tight. Same with the core. So you just do 150 repetitions, keeping that core nice and tight. And I'll do this. I'll finish mine after I'm done with the video, but you're going to want to do this after your cardio. It gets any kind of ab training I like to do after my cardio because it allows me to contract abs a lot more efficiently. You don't have all that water and food that you might have in your stomach affecting you quite as much. So that's the best time to do it is right after cardio. 150 repetitions after every cardio session you do. If you're doing two sessions a day, say some low intensity in the morning and at night, go ahead and do it after both sessions. That's all I got for you today. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.